Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Uh, today is Friday, March 22. Uh, I'll be going over my recap of today. Um, so today, uh, I did a live recording, but unfortunately my computer crashed and I lost that footage. Um, so I'll just go over my trades for today. So my first trade I did was SRNE short. So initially I saw this, um, it had this little wedge here um, and then it fell to hold this wedge for a little higher. Uh, and then when it break down here, it retested here and it also formed uh, a little cup, uh, a little um, cup and handle here, inverted cup and handle. So you can see it has this little cup and handle, it broke. So I enter short here and I went really small, uh, 100 shares, and I just covered here. Um, since I only had 100 shares, um, but there was a good reshore opportunity there um, at this uh, area. And then it pretty much faded throughout the whole day, um, all the way back down, um, uh, green to red here. Um, but yeah, I just captured just a tiny part of that for a $10 win. Um, the next trade I did was HIIB. So this trade, um, so today was a slow market, so I felt like I was forcing a little bit on my entries, but I saw this wedge as well. Um, and you can see this wedge, uh, it broke down, so I entered short thinking it would roll over, um, but uh, I entered short small here, uh, and then there was this, uh, I think it was like a 2230 area where you can see it has prior support and resistance. So when it popped back up here uh, and popping back above this trend line, I should have stopped out, but I end up um, I end up adding to my position, which is a bad move, and that's one of the mistakes I need to learn is to not fight the trend if you know it's gonna go against you. Uh, so I end up sizing down. Um, to my original position um, and then my stop was above this uh, break here so I stopped out there um, and then on the daily there is this um, high volume uh, gap down uh, at the 2350 area so that's why you see this little wick um, wick here and then when I saw the wick I saw a weakness so I started sh some short position there um, it kind of pop up, um, so I sized back down, and then when I saw it try to uh, break high of day again, uh, with a wick on high volume. So each of these uh, wick candles here, they have like high volume. Um, so when I saw that weakness, I re-entered short, um, and then added more short positions, and then um, during this breakdown here, uh, I added more. And then I end up covering at the 23 mark um, and then some at VWAP. And then it was consolidating at VWAP and I was waiting for, uh, I had a quarter left, waiting patiently to break the 265 uh, VWAP area. And then I just covered uh, my last uh, quarter or eighth and eighth here. Um, and then now it's trending back. But, but um, yeah, overall, I think I recovered from this trade. So I was down uh, initially uh, $80 here. Um, and then uh, from this trade, I had a core average of uh, 43 or so. Um, and I ended up uh, making back the 80 from back here and some more uh, for a total $113 real life after that. Um, so yeah, overall two trades, uh, 123, I'm probably going to be stop trading, um, today, um, and it with a green day, um, this Friday and, um, it's a slow market. You can see all the whole markets down and all the gappers were uh, pretty weak. So, uh, hopefully everyone had a good day. Um, and we'll see, I'll see you guys next week, um, on Monday. 
Um, so, as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye.